Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Kicking off the show is probably the match everyone is most excited to see. The Women's Champions clashing. Becky Lynch, Raw Women's Champion. Charlotte Flair, SmackDown Women's Champion. Let's get right into it. And we are not holding back. Straight away, the bell has rung and Charlotte Flair has backed Becky into a corner. Becky with two side kicks and no Charlotte Flair with a chop block. Natural selection, she misses. Disarm her locked in by Becky Lynch early on. This match has been underway for about 10 seconds and the disarm has already been attempted by Becky. Countering. And now these two just pulling on each other's hair. Obviously, the legit... legit he is there. We don't know the severity of it, but there is definitely some heat. There's spear by Charlotte Flair. Already connecting with her signature and just throwing elbows and forearms at Becky. This looks stiff. This looks rough. Already, these two just absolutely battering each other. This is madness. Becky's out on the outside. Charlotte Flair looking for the moon. So no, instead gets pushed off and goes straight into the barricade from the top rope. Falling to ringside, buying Becky some time. That looked rough. Charlotte and Becky just slapping each other over and over and over again. We're having a slap off. And now a clothesline by Charlotte drops Becky Lynch. Charlotte Flair is in control. Moments ago, she back suplexed Becky Lynch on the apron. And from that point onwards, it's been just Charlotte. Will Becky come back into this? Becky spent most of this match on the defence, but now finally backing Charlotte into the corner. Repeated kicks and forearms to the head. Is it Becky's time to finally get some offence in? Kick to the midsection again, over and over and over again. And a massive slap. By Becky Lynch to Charlotte Flair. And here comes the Bex blow, the suplex. But Charlotte countering it. And instead, with a suplex of her own into the corner, Becky Lynch hits hard. Charlotte's got Becky laying down near the corner exactly where she wants her. Taking a lot of time, taunting, going up to the top rope. But will we see another attempt for the moonsault by Charlotte Flair. We do. And it connects. No. Moves out of the way. But second time caught. One. Two. Kick out by Becky at two. Charlotte literally has a counter for every move that Becky throws. But Becky trying to get on that level as well. Countering everything Charlotte throws. Charlotte trying to get back in the ring. But Becky's met her there. Over and over again. Repeated strikes. Open hand slaps the lot. These two are just brutalizing each other and there's the middle rope leg drop across the middle rope one two kick out by charlotte at two this match has been all what's it called i don't know straight all momentum all fight i don't know it's really early in the morning here but these two just throwing it against each other uh they're not holding back at all I don't know if that was a botch there or what, but Charlotte went for the big boot. Becky moved out the way, and as Charlotte turned around, Becky ran straight into her back, taking the bump from it. I think it was meant to give the illusion, like, obviously, Charlotte's the strong individual. Becky runs into her. She just goes down, like, you know, when if, if Rey Mysterio was to run into the big show. You know what I mean? That sort of illusion. Uh, that's what happened there. Despite the big boot missing, Charlotte knocked Becky down anyway. And now she's stalking her, waiting for her to get up. Grabbed her from behind in a waist lock. Becky Lynch counters with an elbow strike. Goes for a clothesline. Ducks underneath. Bounces off the ropes and a roll through perhaps by Charlotte. No, big boot. There it is. Second time lucky. One, two, kick out by Becky. Charlotte laid down in the corner. And Becky with a leg drop off the top. But Charlotte moves out of the way just in time. Becky lands hard, goes for the big boo, ducks underneath, counter, manhandle, slam, there it is. Cover one, two, Charlotte got her foot on the rope. I thought the referee was going to count to three then, but Charlotte Flair gets her foot on the rope. Becky Lynch has the figure four locked in on Charlotte Flair, her own move being used against her here. Oh, Becky just calling her a bitch, and these two slapping each other again, slapping away in the submission. They're not releasing the submission. No, Charlotte's reversed the pressure. Now it's Charlotte that's got the pressure on Becky's legs. Figure four locked in and Becky gets to the ropes. Referee, start counting, man. Start counting. He isn't, he isn't counting, but Charlotte Flair has released the hold. But the damage may already be done. 
We've been in this position before. Becky's out on the outside. Charlotte's up on the top rope. Are we going to see the outside? Moonsault or the corkscrew? Is it coming? There it is. Moonsault connected to Becky Lynch on the outside. Charlotte Flair's got the disarmor locked in. Charlotte Flair has the disarmor locked in on Becky Lynch. I'm not mistaken. Charlotte Flair using Becky's own move against her the same way Becky did with the figure four moments ago. And what's Becky Lynch going to do? There's no way she's going to tap out and she reaches the ropes and breaks the hole. Charlotte Flair had the roll up nearly one. Becky called the rope. Roll, roll up reversal. Three. There we go. Becky Lynch has beaten Charlotte Flair with a leverage roll up pin. That was the result we all thought. I'm sure I predicted Becky to win. Charlotte hit a schoolboy roll up and grabbed the rope uh, for leverage. The referee caught it and in the distraction, uh, Becky managed to reverse it into a roll up of her own using the rope, using Charlotte's own medicine against her uh, and uh, the referee didn't catch it. But Charlotte's up to her feet, no selling the finish and uh, Becky Lynch is standing there still uh, holding up the Raw Women's Championship. This match obviously wasn't for the titles. And uh, Charlotte Flair's got her back to Becky. Are we going to see a confrontation? Are we going to see a post-match assault? What are we going to see here? Obviously, we know that there was legit heat here going in. It was probably for the best to have a, a non-decision, I guess you can say. This match itself was brilliant, though. Hard-hitting from the opening bell. There's the roll-up again. Becky Lynch at the last second using that bottom rope for leverage. Eyes on the referee the whole time to make sure he wouldn't have noticed. And Becky Lynch has picked up a big win for Team Raw as Charlotte Flair angrily walks to the back.